Okay, so 2006 Toyota Tundra. The problem with this one is, is that when it rains, and it rains pretty heavy, and even actually it's gotten to the point where it rains pretty light, the passenger floorboard, which I'll go ahead and show over here, tends to get wet. So you can see over here, got a wet spot over there. It was actually a lot worse before, but I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Also got some water over here. So from what I understand is it's supposed to be a gasket behind the glove box somewhere in the firewall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the glove box, remove this, take all this out, pull back the carpet. And then by doing that, I'm also gonna take off the cowl and everything, take a look in there and just kind of see where you might see these gaskets or whatever. So um, I'm gonna take all this apart and we'll go ahead and show what I find, where the water's coming from, and maybe it's a quick, easy fix. Maybe a little RTV might seal it. I've read a couple of different things, the different issues it could be. I know the cowl is not clogged for the simple fact that I clean this thing all the time and I keep it nice and clean. So I get out all the leaves and the debris. I've also cleaned out the uh, the drip drain for the AC condenser, uh, for the AC uh, evaporator, I have a brain fart, but the thing that allows the AC to drip from the inside to the outside. So I cleaned that out down there and it, that's flowing pretty good. So I've cleaned all that out. So there's gotta be a leak somewhere, a gasket that's not sealing. So I'm gonna take all that apart. I'll show you how each thing looks like. I mean, on this tundra, it's pretty easy. Just get through these screws, which are right over here, they're up across, pull these tabs out, which my camera light is kind of, there you go, pull those tabs out. I'll take care of that, pull out the windshield wiper arms. That'll give me access in there, pull out the glove box. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll just show you what I find. Okay, so I took off the cowl. The cowl was pretty easy, just a bunch of screws, which were on these white little plastic pieces over here. That came off, took off the windshield wiper, off pretty easy. Then went back over here, took apart the glove box. And as you can see, the glove box was easy, just a bunch of bolts and then the little cover to hold the little light. So very simple. So that took off the fan motor. Fan motor just has three flathead screwdrivers so I took the fan motor off and what I started doing was I started wetting it as you can see if I can get in there I don't even know if I can get a video in there good Came quite bad. as you can see it's a little wet right there you can see the little shiny part right over there so all right so I'm able to see that the water is coming in through here I found a little water line right over here all this carpet is wet right over here so I know where it's coming from so now we come back over here, did a little water test. And that's just sprayed right over here. Sprayed right over there, gave it a few minutes. No issues, put it up, give it a few seconds actually. All right, so put that over there. And if we come back over here, I don't know if I can get it in there. But, well, everything's already wet in there, so let's see if we can find my other light. Okay, let's see if we can get your other light in here. There we go. Get in there, you see. So if I come back over here, I'm gonna take a look. These little plastic pieces have like a gasket RTV material. You can kind of see it right over there, so, which is pretty much done. So looking at over here, this one right over here, actually falls on top of the fresh air vent inside the uh, the truck so when you put the fresh air and all that stuff the hole that sucks it all in this is right on top of it pretty bad design my opinion but whatever so now to finish my test and complement it I'll go ahead and let me see that a little bit later so we'll go ahead and Get all that wet in there. There we go. Let's my theory. And now, as you can see, everything is wet. This is a bad design. I mean, I've seen a lot of dumb designs in cars and manufacturers and different dealerships and everything, but this is pretty piss poor. I mean, use a plastic piece like that to keep water from getting in, but. At least I know how to fix it. I know what it is. So if you're getting in your 2006 Toyota Tundra, if you're getting water down in your passenger side footboard area, 
and this is not clogged in here, this is your problem. This is the leak. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this up, dry this up, get fresh RTV, pop it in there, let it dry, put some RTV in the screw while I screw it in, and that should hopefully seal it up. If it doesn't, I'll have to come up with another idea, but as far as the best I can see, they use some type of RTV gasket. And I actually read in a few forums and some people suggested this, but so um, I'm gonna go ahead, get some RTV, dry this up, clear it up, and then um, I'll show how it looks. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't get to show the full repair of um, fixing the leak that's coming from the cowl. When I last left off, I showed that that little uh, white clip over there had a little gasket material around it, which I actually put it away now, but had a little gasket material or some silicone that they use. Uh, what I did was um, where it sits in, I was able to pop uh, underneath this, I popped out the white clip, globbed it with some silicone, put it in there, and then I globbed it again on top of it with some more silicone did it for one for for this one for this one this is the main one that actually that if that gasket's not working that's where the water's coming in it's going to be the second one on the going to the right on the passenger side if you're looking towards the uh front of the vehicle and then also this one over here which you can get it right here so this one and this one this is the main one this is the one where it's getting all the water in but i also did this one as a precaution did that one and then I did one more over there the one on the driver's side not worried about it because there's no vents over there but when that gasket goes bad over here when water comes in through the top if I could get my fingers right in there water comes in water gets past the little clip through the gasket and right the opening below it is where the uh, blower motor is so water is going to get right in there as soon as you put the refresh it gets everything inside it becomes a mess so just come in real quick you see i got the whole interior of the truck put back together uh, it's pretty dark under here but all this was wet all this was wet but pretty much to um another thing to remember and i wish i would have gotten this on video but it just started raining and it was impossible to kind of uh film this and then a bunch of other things going on so but um take out the bolts for the blower motor remove the blower motor and then take water shoot water down through here if you shoot water down through here and you notice that you're getting water through there then that is the sign that those clips are bad well not the clips are bad but the little gasket or the little rtv whatever they use is bad and that's creating the leak so when i shot that water actually dripped down over here and that's when i knew that was bad so um anybody that's having an issue with a 2006 this generation toyo uh, tundra i believe actually from 2000 one to 2006 do not quote me on this it is a common issue it is a poor flaw and a poor design anybody who has this type of truck has this issue here's how you fix it thanks for watching